Welcome all you amazing people, tis I, your host, Doodleman149, as always, and I'm coming back to you all with my latest in my viewer variance video series. In this series, in case you're new, I take suggestions from viewers and subscribers much like yourself and test them out in Core Domination, Ground War, and Warzone. Now keep in mind, these builds don't have to be good, they can just be anything you want. So if you're a sadistic person, you can come up with the worst build you can think of and I'll try it out for you. If you need a refresher, or if this is your first time you've seen one of these videos, then this is exactly how I rate these builds. It's not really a pass or fail system, it's a little more than that. Now, as I'm sure you all have a basic grasp of reading, you can see here that I received a comment from a viewer by the name of Who's L, suggesting what appears to be a very snappy P90 build, one of the snappiest guns in the game as it is. So I think this build will be rather versatile because of its boosted range while retaining its snappy nature. But before I hop right into this, I'd like to ask that if any of you are interested in seeing future videos like this, or if you peruse my channel and find something else you like, feel free to subscribe for more great Modern Warfare and Warzone content. If you don't, that's fine too. I'm not here to tell you what to do. So enough of that, let's hop right into this here. For Who's LP90 build, we start off in the muzzle section with everyone else's favorite suppressor, the monolithic suppressor, to boost our damage range while also suppressing our weapon. Next up, we employ the use of the Forge Tack Retribution Barrow for even further boosted range while also cutting down on our vertical recoil. This just costs us ADS and movement speed. The Tack Laser is next for boosted ADS speed and stability. The Fly Strap Stock is used to boost our ADS and strafe speed while making us a little less stable. And this build is rounded off by the stippled rear grip for, again, boosted ADS and sprint out speed. This P90 build from Who's L may just be the snappiest version of this weapon I've ever used. The suppressor and the barrel do keep it from being its fastest, but the triple threat of the tack laser, fly strap stock, and the stipple grip tape really drive the ADS speed through the roof. The tack laser balances the negatives of the stippled grip, and the grip and fly strap stock allow for faster sprint out and strafing speed, respectively. Combine this build with Dead Silence and I can easily see wiping an entire team with this build. The Retribution Barrel does an excellent job of extending this weapon's admittedly poor range while also keeping our already low vertical recoil to a minimum. This build seems to be the perfect balance of speed, range, and recoil control. For Core Domination, Who's L's P90 gets itself a 9 out of 10. I was worried that this class wouldn't do well in Ground War. Not because of anything going on with the build, as previously stated this build is near perfect, I was just worried about using the P90 here in general. The P90 has always felt like more of an up close and personal kind of weapon, so I didn't think that the more open areas and longer ranges would lend themselves well to this weapon's capabilities. However, I was granted an opportunity to use this build on Promenade, and I can see that while this build is best up close, most ground war maps have plenty of interior spaces that could still be dominated by this compact SMG. All the same praises I showered on this build before still stand. However, given that sometimes you have no choice but to fight in the open, I feel some more recoil mitigation could have been gleaned by replacing the rear stipple grip with one of the fort grip tapes. For Ground War, this P90 build earns itself an 8 out of 10. Now, while the P90 has exceptional accuracy, low recoil, and a plentiful base magazine, one thing it does lack is range and raw power. This is rarely noticed in Core Domination and Ground War because of the low health of enemies when compared to Warzone. By more than doubling an enemy's base health, you'll start to notice the lower damage of the P90 more often. That's not to say this weapon isn't useful, I just personally wouldn't use it as a primary unless you have a class specifically geared towards CQC battles with a capable squad to take on the medium to long range fights. As an overkill secondary to an LMG or a sniper, this build is excellent. It definitely falls under the weaker, faster firing category, but I still enjoyed using it in Plunder. This P90 racks up an 8 out of 10 again for Warzone and Plunder. This was another fun viewer variant video for me. It had me focus on a weapon that isn't talked about too much and that isn't really considered meta. Also, it had the bonus of not being a weapon I've already done several videos on already. This P90 suggestion came out of the blue, and it was a great change of pace. It didn't hurt that the build was stellar as well. This build, and this weapon in general, are best in core domination. It does perfectly fine if you stick to fighting indoors in Ground War, and despite the low power, the supreme accuracy and great base magazine make this a solid Warzone choice as well. Overall, I highly recommend you try this build if you're looking for some SMG variety. For a final rating, Who's L's P90 gets itself an 8 out of 10. 
I wanted to give this weapon a 9, but considering its small number of limitations, I had to go with a very solid 8. Have any of you tried out this P90 build or one similar? What are your thoughts on this P90 build from Who's L? Did I do an adequate job at rating it? Whatever you want to say, the comment section is the place to do it. So with that, another viewer variant video is done, and I really enjoyed this one, and I hope y'all did as well. I really appreciate all your time, and I appreciate the growth I've seen lately, and that's all thanks to every one of you here watching this video now. If I'm the only one here at the end, that's fine too. If you're hearing this, post something ominous in the comments. I've been your host, Doodleman149, and until we meet again, I will see you later.